Hi everyone, I'm Johnny Wilkinson. I'm a consultant intensivist and a regional anaesthetist from Northampton in the UK. And I'm going to be meeting hopefully loads of you at RAUK 22 this year in Edinburgh. Uh, Rosie's asked me to talk about point of care ultrasound, in particular periop point of care ultrasound, and why you should bother with it and why I think it's so good. Well, I think it brings a lot to the table, and in particular, I think it increases the sensitivity and specificity of our examination set when we're looking at our patients and trying to find out answers to often quite binary questions. And I think it takes the imagining out of it uh, and replaces it with good imaging, actually. And you can actually get your answers within seconds quite often, whereby a previous clinical examination may have led you to quite a bit of guesswork and acting on clinical acumen more than um, accuracy. So within that, I think that uh, we can all pick a probe up and we can move beyond procedural ultrasound and start to learn how to image the heart, how to image the lungs, and how to put heart and lung integration together to give us our answers. Moving on down from there, we can look at the abdomen and find out loads and loads of information as to why patients are sick and why they've gone off. Putting the whole lot together in whole body ultrasound gives us even more clarity to what we do. It's not the be all and end all, um, admittedly, and uh, there is some inaccuracy in it. If you don't know what you're doing and just pick the probe up and start guessing, that's not good. But I think if you learn it and get accredited properly, and there are heaps of accreditation systems out there, I think it can uh, give you loads and loads uh, to offer your patients and give them a lot of benefit uh, to their journey through uh, what can often be quite a nasty time. So I think we should embrace the technology. It's all around us now. It's got smaller and smaller. You've got handheld devices everywhere. We've also got ultrasound carts all over the place now. So there's no excuses, guys. You should pick up the probe and extend your skill set. Whether you're an anaesthetist or whether you're not, I think everyone can embrace it and uh, move it into their practice. So we all know we can bring four pillars of clinical examination, inspection, palpation, percussion and auscultation. Why not add in insonation as the fifth one? It seems pretty obvious to me, but then I would say that, wouldn't I? So let's show you what we can do, what we can see and how it can benefit you and your patients. And life goes beyond procedural ultrasound, so we're going to show you how. See you soon.